What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to migrate all of your extensions from an older version of SketchUp to a new version of SketchUp. Um, before I get started, I do wanna take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, if you find this helpful, please consider supporting me at the link in the notes down below. So I do wanna note that we're going a little outside of the uh, generally accepted ways of doing things um, so we're messing around with some uh, app data files and that kind of thing so um, two things first of all ki kind of do this at your own risk you shouldn't be messing around with anything that's gonna affect the way that your sketchup works but um, just just kind of a heads up that you are moving some files around and you may have to do a little bit of problem solving so the other thing the other thing is whenever you do something like this always make sure you make a backup of your files um, just in case something goes wrong and you lose them um, you don't want to have to go track everything down that's what we're trying to avoid in the first place so make sure you back everything up in a folder make a folder on your desktop call it file backup whatever it is make sure you make a backup um, before you do this now let's go ahead and just jump into it all right so I've gotten several questions about how to transfer your extensions over um, from one folder to the other folder or um, from one version so in this case, it would be SketchUp 2017 over to the new version, which is SketchUp 2018. Unfortunately, at least that I'm aware of, there's not an easy, just simple way within SketchUp to do that. Um, if any of you do know of a way of that, leave a comment in the notes down below. I'd be happy to uh, um, cover that if you, if you guys know of a smarter way to do this. So for right now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to find the folder on our computer where your uh, extensions are located and then we're gonna copy them over and so um, like for example this is SketchUp 2017 and you can see if I right click on this I have a whole bunch of extensions um, over here on the right that are installed and I don't necessarily want to go in and install all of those manually it could take a long time to look all those up that sort of thing so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to find the folder where those are located so in this case and generally speaking those files are located in the uh, in the users and then your username and then app data roaming sketchup sketchup 2017 so that's your version and then the sketchup and then the plugins folder and one other thing you may need to do is when you go in this folder for your username you may not see the app data folder um, because I think it's in there as a hidden item and the reason is um, a lot of the time they don't want you messing around with that folder unless you know what you're doing um, and so what may happen is that may not show up because it's a hidden file and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that folder um, for your username whatever that is in this case um, this is mine but it's just gonna be C users your username and then in Windows Explorer what you need to do is you need to go up to the view option there's a box in here for hidden items and so if you check the box for hidden items then that folder will show up so you can see how now that app data folder shows up where it didn't before so you may need to make this so you can see hidden items by turning that on and so generally speaking that's where these are located unless you have a custom extensions location um, and another quick easy way to find that is if you have the sketchication extension store installed you can go to Sketchication and you can go to the Open Plugins folder, File, and it'll open that folder. And so what you should see in this folder is a list of the extensions that you have installed in your current version. If you don't, then you probably have a custom plugin location folder and you probably set that on purpose so you probably know where that is if you have that. Um, if you can't find it, you can try doing a search on your C drive for a plugin name that you know. Um, and then the other thing you can do is if you have the Sketchication extension store, if you go to the plugins manager, there's a little drop down in here and at least for me I had some extensions in this other folder so I had a program data sketchup plugins folder so you can also use that to try to find that but basically you just need to find the folder where everything's installed and it'll be pretty easy to tell because it'll have all this stuff in here and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of all of this stuff and we're gonna move it over to SketchUp 2018 um, before we do that I do recommend that you make a backup of all of this stuff you don't want to accidentally lose it um, when you're moving things around so it's probably a good idea to make a temporary backup of this until you're done kinda of moving files around but basically what you're going to do is you're going to 
Um, so right now this is my 2017 folder and then if I go into my uh, SketchUp 2018 folder and I right click you can see I really don't have a lot of extensions installed. If I go to the window extension manager that's going to show a list of extensions that are installed on my computer and you can see how I don't have a whole lot of those installed right now. And so what we're going to do is you should probably close SketchUp 2018 before you do this. Actually, you should probably close 2017 and 2018. Just don't have SketchUp open while you're doing this. And so what you're going to do is you're going to, what I've done is I have this on a split screen. That's usually how I try to transfer files so I can see where they're coming from and where they're going to. But you can see how on the left side of my screen I have this app data roaming 2017 and I'll put this in the notes below um, this is gonna be different because it's gonna be your username but I've also found that same folder for 2018 so if you go in this um, this uh, SketchUp folder the app data roaming SketchUp folder you can see that you're gonna have listed um, a bunch of different versions of SketchUp so I have all my 2015 16 17 and 18 files, and you can see how that has some of my like basic extensions um, in there. So this is the stuff that, sh that ships with SketchUp. So advanced camera tools, dynamic components, that sort of thing. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to take, and remember to make a backup before you do this, but you're going to take everything in your 2017 plugins folder, and you're just going to select it all, and then you're going to you can right click on it and you're going to do a copy. Don't do a cut because you want to keep it in the 2017 folder too. But you're going to click copy. Then you're going to come over in the 2018 folder and you're going to click paste. And that's going to take a while because you have a bunch of different stuff in here. And you may have a couple files that uh, you get the notice that they already exist. And you can just skip those files. So I have a different copying version on my computer. But um, you don't need to overwrite you don't need to overwrite the files that are in there so um, just skip the ones that have the same name and then you're just gonna let it transfer over and you can see that's taking a while on my computer because it's almost 900 megabytes worth of stuff so if you have a slower computer this could take a while um, and hopefully my new computer gets in pretty soon and this will be a lot faster but in the meantime that's all gonna transfer over And one thing I do want to note while this is still transferring is if you take a look, a lot of these extensions have a Ruby file and a folder. And so you want to make sure that within the plugins file itself, you have the Ruby files for your extensions and the folders in here. So don't make another extension inside your, or don't make another folder inside your plugins folder. You literally just want the Ruby file and then the folder for all the files that go along with the plugin in here. So. There we go. So now my transfer is complete. Um, if you do anything other than this format, these aren't going to show up right. So just one more time, Ruby file, folder. So in this case, let's look at uh, Placemaker. So I've got the Ruby file for Placemaker, and then I also have the folder that had all of the files for Placemaker in here. So that's the only way this is going to work. But once you've transferred all this over, if you open up SketchUp 2018, um, I think this is going to vary a little bit depending on what you had loaded and what you didn't. Um, so if you transfer a bunch of these over, you may get some kind of error messages for stuff getting moved over into 2018 because some of them haven't been updated for the 2018 version yet. But you can see how now where before I had no extensions um, showing up in my computer, now all of these loaded up. And what you may need to do is you may need to go to your window extension manager and you may need to enable some of these. So a lot of these got brought in, but they got like Artisan and some of the others got brought in, but they didn't get brought in as enabled. So you need to go in and enable the extensions that you want. So like for example, Soap Skin, if I enable that and I click Apply Changes, then the menu for Soap Skin is gonna pop up. Same thing with Artisan. So what that should do is that should bring all of these in your uh, SketchUp extension manager should find them if you put them in the right folder. So that's a quick easy way to migrate your extensions from SketchUp 2017 to 2018. Leave a comment below let me know what you thought. Did you find this helpful? Um, did it work for you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month. 
But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.